The introduction of Buick Rainier is one of the most exciting events in the automotive industry for 2004. That Buick is making a significant entry into the SUV market alone is news. But the vehicle itself, it's truly a work of art, a premium luxury SUV that sets a new benchmark for this market niche. Just one look at Rainier and one immediately knows that it's more than an SUV. It's a refined utility vehicle. During this video, we'll review key product features of the Rainier, like quiet tuning, the availability of the Vortec 5300 V8 engine, and the standard self-adjusting rear air springs, along with other advantages you can use with customers who are shopping the competition. Speaking of the competition, for this new offering, we'll be comparing it against the Mercury Mountaineer. We've organized this video into segments that correspond with the way customers are motivated to buy. We'll compare comfort and convenience, power and performance, ride and handling, quality, reliability, durability, and safety and security. We'll also use this icon to highlight Rainier's advantages for 2004. These five keys to learning will help you create an effective walk-around presentation and will guide you through certification. Also, for more competitive information, take time to review your Competitive Comparison Reference Guide. Rainier starts the model year with two versions, the CXL and CXL Plus. Each of these versions is available in rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Also, either can be equipped with the powerful Vortec 4200 inline six-cylinder or the Vortec 5300 V8 engines. It's important to note that both models are exceptionally well-equipped. In fact, the major difference between the CXL and CXL Plus is the sound system. CXL Plus includes an audio system featuring Bose premium speakers along with XM satellite radio and a six-disc in-dash CD changer, all as standard equipment. These items are optional on the CXL. The focus vehicle for this competitive comparison is the CXL model, equipped with the Vortec 5300 V8 engine and all-wheel drive. It will be compared to the Mercury Mountaineer with the V8 engine, luxury package, and all-wheel drive. Key messages to remember on the Rainier are called PERQS, or P-R-Q-S. They stand for Power, Ride, Quiet, and Style, items embodied by the Rainier. Taking a look at our competitor, we see a vehicle that is nearly identical to the 2003 model, except for the addition of some interior items, exterior paint colors, performance enhancements, and option changes. In terms of pricing, base price for the two comparison models show the Mountaineer about $2,000 less than Rainier, although both are significantly less in cost than import competitors, such as the BMW X5, Infiniti FX45, Mercedes M-Class, Lexus GX470, and even the domestic competitor Jeep Cherokee Overland. The vehicles are basically the same size. Mountaineer has a slightly longer wheelbase, whereas Rainier has the edge in overall length. The Mountaineer comes in three different packages, Convenience, Luxury, and Premier. The luxury, which we'll examine today, is a significantly better equipped vehicle than the convenience model. The Premier basically adds appearance and audio items to the well-equipped luxury model. These items include a color-keyed lower body and front and rear fascia, satin aluminum exhaust tip, satin aluminum roof rails, in-dash six-disc CD changer, and power moonroof. As a point of reference, the luxury package includes 17-inch aluminum wheels, tire inflation monitor, color-keyed running boards, dual-zone electronic climate control, steering wheel audio and climate controls, message center, two-tone leather sport bucket seats, heated front seats, power seats with driver side memory, universal garage door opener, and power adjustable pedals with memory. On the exterior, Mercury has designed the Mountaineer to present a technical theme with highly geometric machined surfaces, bold edged curves, and satin aluminum finishes. 
This compares to Rainier's boldly designed grille, aggressive wheel flares, and smoothly rounded curves of the major sheet metal panels. Standard wheels on the Mountaineer with the luxury trim package are 17-inch six-spoke aluminum alloy. This compares to Rainier's more aggressive appearing 17-inch eight-spoke aluminum wheel. Rainier does not have a tire inflation monitor. It is standard equipment on the Mountaineer with the luxury package. At the side of the vehicle, note that Mountaineer is equipped with color-keyed running boards. These are standard on the luxury package. Rainier provides a more attractive chrome design. However, they are an option. At the rear of the vehicle, note the continuation of Rainier's stylish rounded themes as compared to the Mountaineer's more boxy style. The Mountaineer is equipped with a two-way liftgate and flip-open window compared to Rainier's liftgate with lift glass. Rainier's 80.1 cubic feet of cargo space is slightly less than Mountaineer's 81.7 cubic feet. On the interior, Mountaineer features seven passenger seating. Their two passenger third row fold flat bench seat is standard, but can be deleted for a credit if so desired. Second row bucket seats are now available for the luxury and premier trim levels. This is a new feature for the 2004 Mountaineer and reduces the seating capacity on this model to six. The Rainier has five passenger seating. Rainier features eight-way seat adjustment on the driver and front passenger seats, including two-position lumbar. Mountaineer, with the luxury package, features six-way power adjustment for the driver and front passenger seats. Lumbar adjustment is manual. Heated seats are standard on the Mountaineer Luxury and optional on the Rainier CXL. Rear seating is comfortable on both models, but it's important to note the advantage Rainier has in terms of overall driver and passenger comfort. Obviously, because of Mountaineer's standard third seat, they have more passenger carrying capability. But when it comes to comfort, interior dimensions tell the true story. Look at the front seat dimensions. Rainier wins on headroom, hip room, and leg room. Mountaineer is barely ahead on shoulder room. In the second seat, Rainier wins in the same categories. In the case of hip room, the win is substantial with nearly four more inches of room. Moving to the instrument panel, you'll note that both the Mountaineer and Rainier feature attractive and well laid out configurations and both have metallic accents. Where Rainier has an advantage is in the exceptional visibility of the individual gauges. Not only are they easy to read, but also a quick glance gives a thorough overview of current vehicle operating conditions. A point to note is that both Rainier and the Mountaineer with the luxury package incorporate driver information centers to enhance vehicle communication with the driver. Also shared are convenience items like Homelink garage door opener, automatic dual zone climate control, overhead console, and illuminated visor vanity mirrors. Mountaineer with the luxury package does come standard with adjustable pedals. This is an optional feature on the Rainier. To many potential buyers, the audio system is an extremely important area of consideration. It's also an area where Rainier excels against the Mountaineer. The standard CXL system has a six-speaker AM-FM stereo with CD and cassette, including speed compensated volume, RDS, and theft lock. The optional system provides six premium Bose speakers. Included on the upgrade is an in-dash six-disc CD changer. XM satellite radio is also an option. The Mountaineer in luxury trim has a standard audio system that includes AM-FM stereo radio and CD player with four speakers. The optional audiophile sound system has AM-FM radio, six disc in-dash CD changer, and seven premium speakers with a subwoofer. Also, satellite radio is available on the Mountaineer. However, it is a dealer installed option. Points to note are that Mountaineer does not have a cassette player and there is no feature comparable to the theft lock theft prevention that's found on Rainier's radio. And when it comes to great sound, the bottom line on the audio systems is that the Bose is a much more premium system than the audio file.
Both Rainier and Mountaineer have an available rear seat DVD-based multimedia entertainment system available. However, only Rainier has an optional DVD-based navigation system, a premium SUV Q, and one being demanded more and more by the SUV customer. It should be noted that these DVD-based systems are separate systems. Specifically, the entertainment system can be ordered on the Rainier with or without the navigation system, and vice versa. You'll find the inside rear view mirrors on both models feature the auto dimming feature. And when it comes to the outside rear view mirrors, both models are power and heated. However, the Rainier's mirrors tilt down when the vehicle is in reverse to help the driver see objects behind the vehicle. They're also equipped with turn signal indicators, a safety feature. Although sunroofs are available on both models, it's important to remember that Buick provides consumers with the optional sun and satellite package that combines these two popular options into an affordable package. They're separate on Mountaineer, and as previously mentioned, the satellite radio for Mountaineer is a dealer-installed option. The final point to discuss in the comfort and convenience section is Rainier's use of quiet tuning technology. This Rainier exclusive uses acoustic material treatments and products specifically designed to achieve impressive interior quietness. An acoustic laminate windshield, laminated side glass, a first in the industry to use both, and special quiet riding Michelin tires work together with 26 strategically positioned acoustic absorbers and seals to help prevent exterior noise from reaching the cabin. Engineers also separated the specific vibration frequencies of the instrument panel, chassis and engine to prevent sympathetic vibration reactions. Noise is even further reduced by a modular cockpit designed that virtually eliminates instrument panel squeaks and rattles. The result is an uncommonly quiet vehicle. Mountaineer, or for that matter, other competing vehicles, have nothing like quiet tuning. Both the Rainier and Mountaineer are equipped with six-cylinder engines as standard equipment. Where there is significant difference is in the basic structure of the engines. Rainier's engine is the Vortec 4200 inline six cylinder, whereas the Mountaineer has a 4.0 liter V6. It should be noted that the Rainier's six cylinder puts out substantially more horsepower and torque than Mountaineer's, 275 horsepower to 210, and 275 pounds-feet of torque compared to 254. It's important to note, in the case of the standard engines, that the inline design is inherently more balanced than the V. Therefore, it's a smoother running engine. The Vortec 4200 is high-tech in that it has variable valve timing on the exhaust side, enabling the engine to have 90% of the torque available between 1600 and 5600 RPM. It's also all aluminum and has electronic throttle control. The selected engines for this program are the optional V8s. Let's compare them. The Rainier has available the Vortec 5300 V8 and is the only GM midsize SUV that can be ordered with a V8. It generates 290 horsepower at 5200 RPM and 325 pounds-feet of torque at 4000 RPM. The Mountaineer, on the other hand, has a 4.6-liter V8 that puts out 239 horsepower at 4750 RPM and 282 pounds-feet of torque at 4,000 RPM. Obviously, there's a Rainier advantage here with Vortec 5300 providing 51 more horsepower and 43 more pounds-feet of torque than the Mountaineer's 4.6-liter V8. A point to note is that the Vortec 5300 is one of General Motors' most advanced truck engine designs. It features all-aluminum construction, six-bolt main bearing caps, cross-bolting of those caps, along with electronic throttle control. These features, along with many others, provide exceptional performance as well as incredible durability. The 4.6-liter engine used in the Mountaineer also uses an all-aluminum structure. It's actually more of an automotive engine than a truck engine, as it was introduced and is still used in the Grand Marquis. 
EPA estimated fuel economy on the Mountaineer V8 with all-wheel drive is 15 miles per gallon in the city and 19 miles per gallon on the highway. For Rainier, the numbers come in at 15 and 18 respectively for the all-wheel drive model with the V8. For rear-wheel drive versions with the V8 engines, Mountaineer's readings are 15 miles per gallon in the city and 20 miles per gallon on the highway. Rainier comes in at 16 and 19 miles per gallon. Fuel tank size on the Mountaineer is 22.5 gallons. For the Rainier, it's 22 gallons. The final point on power and performance is trailer towing. Both vehicles are equipped with trailer towing components. Mountaineers is a Class 2 hitch assembly with an upgraded trailer tow package that includes a 3.73 to 1 limited slip rear axle. Class 3-4 trailer hitch receiver with 4-pin and 7-pin electrical trailer connector available. Max trailer towing on the Mountaineer when properly equipped is 7,140 pounds. However, in its standard version with a V8, Mountaineer's towing capacity is only 3,420 pounds. The Rainier is equipped with a Class 3 hitch receiver and 7 lead wire harness as standard equipment and has a towing capacity of up to 6,700 pounds when properly configured. Components such as the drawbar, hitch pin and retailer clip, hitch ball, nut and cover may be ordered through the dealer. When it comes to ride and handling, both vehicles have highly efficient suspension systems. The Mountaineer has four-wheel independent suspension and the Rainier has an independent front suspension with a solid rear axle. The front suspension on both the Mountaineer and Rainier is the short long arm type. At the rear, Mountaineer has an independent short and long arm suspension system with coil springs and a live rear axle. Rainier, on the other hand, has a solid axle assembly with a self-adjusting air spring suspension system. Rainier is the only GM model on this platform with the self-adjusting rear air springs as standard equipment. The air springs allow the rear suspension system to be tuned to give a consistent, high-quality Buick ride. They also provide a load leveling function that's not available on the Mountaineer. Both models feature front and rear stabilizer bars to control body roll in turns and over uneven road surfaces. In terms of braking and steering systems, both are equipped with power rack and pinion steering systems as well as four-wheel disc brakes with anti-lock braking system, ABS. The final points to bring up in this segment are locking differential and traction control. GM's G80 locking differential is a standard feature on all Rainier models and provides exceptional traction on muddy and unstable road surfaces. The G80 is the best system on the market, far surpassing the Mountaineer's limited slip system, which by the way is only available with the optional trailer towing package. For more information on the lockup differential, see the 2004 Rainier program in the Buick Training Library. Traction control is standard equipment on all rear-wheel drive Rainier models. On Mountaineer, this feature is part of the Advanced Track System, which combines both traction and stability control. This feature will cost a Mountaineer buyer an extra $850 and is available on both rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive models. Both Rainier and Mountaineer are the feature vehicles in the SUV market for their respective nameplates. They provide exceptional ride qualities along with SUV capabilities. But when it comes to quality, reliability and durability, there is a difference in overall value and the ability to provide QRD to their owners. The maximum oil change interval on Rainier is 10,000 miles. It's only 5,000 miles for the Mountaineer. Buick is able to set this standard because of the oil life monitor technology of the Rainier, which maximizes the efficiency of the motor oil by tracking driving style and comparing it to engine conditions. Rather than recommending a standard mileage point for replacing oil, Rainier simply informs the driver of when it's time to do so. The transmission fluid change interval on the Rainier is 100,000 miles. 
Transmission fluid changes on the Mountaineer are recommended every 30,000 miles. And how about engine coolant? For 2004, Mercury has increased their coolant change interval from an interval of every 45,000 miles to one that is now every 100,000 miles, or five years, whichever comes first. It's the result of changing to their new premium gold coolant. Our coolant change interval with Dexcool is, and has been for several years, five years, or 150,000 miles. We still have a significant mileage advantage. It's facts like these that you can use to sell the obvious advantages that Rainier has in cost of ownership. Warranty is, of course, an important issue. Both Rainier and Mountaineer have a bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty for three years or 36,000 miles. The same is true for powertrain coverage. For rust-through protection, Rainier has the edge with six years or 100,000 miles, while Mountaineer offers five years with unlimited mileage. And when the unexpected happens, help isn't far away as the manufacturers of both vehicles offer roadside assistance 24-7 at any time during the first three years of the warranty period. Both vehicles offer good warranties, with a slight advantage to Rainier. But the point you should really remember from this section is Rainier's low cost of ownership. A final factor to discuss in this segment is Rainier's quiet tuning technology. This is a Buick exclusive and should be communicated to any customer looking at a Rainier. This feature significantly reduces passenger compartment noise and contributes to the extremely comfortable driving environment, which is sure to be a trademark of Rainier. Although Mountaineer is equipped with more sound deadening insulation than its cousin, the Ford Explorer, it's no match for the Rainier. Be sure to point out this technology during a test drive and that Rainier is the first vehicle to ever use both an acoustic laminate windshield and laminated side glass. Looking at safety and security, both Rainier and Mountaineer offer an impressive list of standard and optional features. Standard occupant protection features include front and rear crush zones, safety cage construction, and side door beams. Both Rainier CXL and Mountaineer with the luxury package have driver and front passenger airbags. Rainier includes side impact airbags as an available option, a feature not found on Mountaineer. However, Mountaineer Luxury can be equipped with optional side curtain airbags and a rollover sensing system. The rollover sensing feature can keep the side curtain bags inflated for up to six seconds. Rear side curtain airbags are not found on Rainier. And a point about airbags and child safety. Remind your customers to always use safety belts and proper child restraints, even with airbags. Children are safer when properly secured in the rear seat. Never place a rear-facing infant restraint in the front seat of any vehicle equipped with an active airbag. Continuing on, daytime running lamps and automatic lamp control are standard on Rainier. Mountaineer does have automatic lamp control, but not daytime running lamps. Note that both vehicles are equipped with standard integrated fog lamps. Don't forget that Rainier's rear view mirrors are equipped with turn signals. Mountaineer does not have this feature available on any model. Another item not found on the Mountaineer is OnStar. OnStar, which is standard on the Rainier CXL, provides a tremendous blanket of protection as well as convenience amenities. So in the final analysis, how do the 2004 Rainier CXL and the Mountaineer Luxury compare? The Mountaineer is a very good competitor, but Rainier is the vehicle of choice. Rainier provides more amenities and, with its quiet tuning technology, provides a cabin environment more akin to a high-end luxury car as opposed to a mid-size SUV. Let's look at the facts. In terms of comfort and convenience, both vehicles provide an exceptionally comfortable environment. Rainier comes out ahead in more adjustments to the driver and front passenger seats the availability of XM radio from the factory as opposed to being a dealer installed option, 
a roomier interior, DVD navigation system, outside rear view mirrors with turn signals, as well as the capability to tilt down to assist in parking. Plus, there's OnStar, the rear air suspension system, and quiet tuning, which all provide comfort and convenience advantages to Rainier. When comparing power and performance, Rainier's Vortec 5300 V8 engine is more powerful than Mountaineer's 4.6 liter engine. Also, in their standard trims, Rainier has better trailer towing capabilities than Mountaineer because of its Class 3 hitch receiver and related wiring, as opposed to Mountaineer's Class 2 setup. For trailer towing of any relatively heavy weight trailer, it's necessary to add the $400 towing package to the Mountaineer. For ride and handling, Rainier features the air spring rear suspension and rear level control, items that are not found on Mountaineer. Also, Rainier has the G80 locking differential as standard equipment, the best locking differential on the market. Turning to quality, reliability, and durability, Rainier has lower maintenance costs due to longer service intervals. In safety and security, look to Rainier advantages when it comes to driver and passenger side airbags, daytime running lamps, and the availability of OnStar items not found on the Mountaineer. All these points, along with others mentioned in this program, combine to show that the Rainier is the dominant SUV in comparison to the Mountaineer. As a final point, remember to refer to your Competitive Comparison Reference Guide for more information about Rainier and the competition. And be sure and visit www.buick.com for the latest information on Buick Rainier.